Today, we are going to talk about the easiest ways to hire the best marketers in 2023. So in the last episode, we talked about how it's a legit shortcut to hire great people. And so this year, we want to give you some practical ways to do it. And it's very simple. It's right in front of you, especially if you have some people on the team. Neil, you want to go first? The, the way I really hire amazing marketers, and I actually have really one approach. I don't know what your approach is, Eric. And I've talked about this in previous episodes. It's really simple. And it's not just marketers. I do this for almost all roles. I go on LinkedIn, see who worked for one of my competitors that did really well. And it could be a PVC role, SEO role, organic social, paid social, whatever it may be. And I look for a person who has climbed the ranks at that company. If someone's gotten multiple promotions, that means that the company found them valuable and they probably did well. I say probably because sometimes people get promotions when they still didn't do well. Now, if someone worked at two of your competitors now, not one, but two, they stay there for a while, they got promotions at both of them, they continually climb the ladder, there's a good chance that they did well because it's not that one company saw them as valuable, two companies saw them as valuable, and it went from that they probably did well to they usually did do or they did well. And the chances are, if they did well in marketing for that specific role at your competitors, they usually can do well for you in that similar role for your company. It's that simple. And when you hit those people up, when you find them on LinkedIn, don't say, hey, I want to hire you. Usually you'll get crickets and very little to no responses. But the moment you hit them up and you say, hey, Eric, amazing job with your career and your resume. We're actually looking for someone like you for our company. If you know of anyone, please let me know. I hear some things about our company that are really amazing that's different than anyone else and looks like two, three things. And what we find is a lot of times that person will say, hey, I'm actually interested, right? And we're looking for that person. We're actually not looking for a referral from them. A referral is always good, but we're actually looking for that specific person. And the reason we're not so direct is when we're direct, we don't get as many responses. The moment we say we're looking for someone like them, we're not being too aggressive. We're not being direct. And funny enough, we get way more people responding with, hey, I'm interested. Let's talk. So actually, it's I'm just... We'll go into this a little more. Typically, the response rates that I see for this are 10 to 15%. And even Neil's co-founder, like sometimes, e even now, like with lots of people, correct me if I'm wrong, Neil, maybe from time to time, I, I think Mike's still out there on LinkedIn reaching out from time to time, but- Probably daily. He loves yeah. it. But it's this is something that you can do while you're watching TV, watching Netflix or whatever. You're just reaching out and LinkedIn has templates. You're saying the same templates. You can use text uh -huh. expander or whatever, expand things out. And you can hit up like 20, 30, 40 people in a day. You just need to make sure that you have emails to do that. And it's worth it. It's worth its weight in gold. The highest leverage thing that you can do if you want to grow, let's say you're past a couple million dollars is really hiring great people. And whenever I go to events now, the people that I grew up with, we're not necessarily talking about all the tactics anymore. We're not talking about the strategies. We're not talking about the tactics. We're just like, huh, it's not how to do it anymore. It's about who to hire. And by the way, when you hire these people, as you start to build more leverage in your company, when someone new comes in, one of the things that we do is we'll ask them, hey, like, who are the like three best people that you've worked with, right? Blah, blah, blah. And then they'll name them off. But we'll also look at their LinkedIn and be, hey, for roles that we need, is like, hey, we looked at these 10 people. Which of these people should we talk to? And so you're gaining like double leverage when these people come in because they have this honeymoon period with you and they're down to do whatever it takes to help the company grow because they're excited about working with this new company. Yeah, look, it's an amazing approach. Try it out. The strategies that Eric and I are talking about, it's one of the best ways. You can also find them through your own referral network. Eric, you use YPO, right? You found some really good people through YPO. Yeah. Okay. So Neil's talking about, so there's a group I'm in called the YPO, this young president's organization, but there's other groups too. There's like entrepreneurs organization. These are all world-class groups and they have these forums in there. And YPO actually has a group called great people, great positions. And you can post whatever you want. I posted something that I needed and I got a bunch of responses and I built a couple of nice relationships and it's good. So tap into your network, say, Hey, who do you guys know? By the way, like if we end up hiring the person, we'll give you like a $3,000 referral fee or whatever it is exactly. Right. That tends to work out well too, but it comes down to at the end of the day, how can you be tasteful about how you're asking for it, Right. So it's like, Hey, Neil, do you know anyone that's interested in like a paid media role? We're looking to hire at single grain as easy as that, that still gets a 10% plus response rate. Right. So you decide how you want to play it. 
test it out and uh, let us know how it goes for you. We hope you hire the right people this year. We think it's going to be a nice talent market in the next two, three years or so. And we think it's going to be reasonable as well. So that is it for today. Please don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and also go to marketingschool.io slash newsletter to subscribe to the free newsletter where we keep you up to date with all the content that we're putting out every single week. We'll see you tomorrow.